And he said, and today it is wonderful to be able to say, yes, we suffered, but the price was worth it. Former President Thabo Mbeki is lauded. The late Zambian founding father, Kenneth Kawunda, he says Kawunda did not just fight for his own country to be free from colonial rule, but also had a vision for a liberated Southern Africa. KK was a giant in many ways. He was one of the giants in the struggle for the liberation of Africa. He was a giant as a man of principle, of high values of integrity and integrity. He was a giant in his respect for the truth. KK, as he was affectionately known, created a platform for the ANC to spread its propaganda and communicate with its sympathizers about its program of action. President Kaunda had authorized that the then ZBS, the Zambia Broadcasting Service, should give us space to make radio broadcasts to South Africa every day. And our daily signature tune, introducing our broadcast, said, said, this is Radio Freedom. The voice of the African National Congress and Umkondo West Sizwe coming to you from Lusaka, Zambia. The former president says the late Zambian leader was willing to step in when Mozambique signed the Gomadi Accord to stop liberation movements from conducting any activity on their territory. The frontline states met because they were very concerned that independent Mozambique had agreed with the apartheid regime to prohibit the ANC from using the country to continue the struggle against the apartheid crime against humanity. And by the time they met, by the time the frontline states met, six weeks after the signing of the accord, they had seen the departure from Mozambique of many ANC members. Mbegi Feather says Kawanda played a critical role when the ANC crafted its ready to govern document just before the demise of apartheid. Kylie Fekumalo, SABC News, Johannesburg.